Hello, this is Mr. Buffington, and we are going to be solving for x, or solving for our variable, in subtracting positive and negative decimals. Our first question for today is 17.3 plus x is equal to 12.4. Our steps for solving for a variable are going to remain the same. We are going to find the variable, ask what happened to the variable or what's connected to it, and then do the inverse on both sides. So let's go ahead and find our variable. Our variable is x. We'll write that in here. And what happened to x is located right here. We are adding 17.3 to x. All right, so we're going to do the inverse to both sides of the equation. In other words, the inverse of adding is subtracting. So we're going to subtract 17.3 from both sides of this equation. It'll look like this. 17.3 minus 17.3 on the left side will leave us with x by itself, which is what we want. And on the right side of the equation, we have 12.4 minus 17.3. That will leave us with a negative 4.9. Now, if you're struggling with how we got 12.4 minus 17.3, not really comfortable with subtracting decimals to get negative answers, you can check out the mini lesson that is all about subtracting decimals. And that'll show you all the steps for, for doing that, that step in our process of solving the equation. All right, let's look at our next question. x plus 6.3 is equal to 9.1. We're going to follow these same three steps. Find the variable. Our variable is x. What happened to our variable? We added 6.3 to both sides, or to this variable, sorry. Right there. And now we're going to do the inverse or the opposite, which is subtracting 6.3 from both sides of the equation. That'll look like this. So we're going to subtract 6.3 minus 6.3, leaves us with x by itself on the left side of the equation. And 9.1 minus 6.3 leaves us with 2.8. So x is equal to 2.8. The great thing about solving equations is we can take this one step further and substitute this value back in there to check our work. Is 2.8 plus 6.3 equal to 9.1? And if that's a true statement, then we've solved the equation correctly. It's a nice thing that we can check our work here and make sure that everything we do is correct. The final question, please pause the recording and try and do this one on your own. See how you do with this one. It's an addition equation that we're going to have to solve using subtraction. We're going to follow the same exact steps, find our variable. In this case, our variable is the letter A. Our variable is always the letter inside the equation. We ask ourselves, what happened to that variable or what's connected to it? It's connected to plus negative 7.26. That's what happened to it. We added negative 7.26. So the inverse will be to subtract negative 7.26. Now, this is kind of complicated. This whole minus negative thing, to subtract a negative is the same thing as adding. Minus negative uh, 7.26 is the same thing as plus 7.26. So that's an important distinction there, that we will switch the minus negative into being plus, because subtracting a negative is the same exact thing as adding a positive. So we're going to change it to plus 7.26. That is the inverse, and that will give us our final answer that a is equal to 20.8. If we're not comfortable with the answer, we of course can check our work by substituting the value of 20.8 back into our equation. Does 20.8, when we add it to negative 7.26, does that give us 13.54? 
and it certainly does. This is a true statement. Therefore, our work is correct, which is wonderful that we can check our work. So two things to keep in mind when we're solving for x with, with any equation is that we need to find the variable, ask ourselves what happened to that variable or what's connected to it, and then do the inverse to both sides of the equation. For subtracting specifically, we need to remember that subtracting is the same thing as adding the opposite. And our rules for adding say if the signs are the same, you find the sum. If the signs are different, find the difference. Hope that lesson's been helpful for you. Have a wonderful day.